All right, still ahead right here at 6 a.m., lawmakers testing positive for COVID-19 days after being forced to lock down inside the Capitol. And new details on the push to impeach President Trump. RTC Bureau Chief has all the details coming up next in minutes. Right now at 6 o'clock, the House pushes to impeach President Trump. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo has the timeline for an impeachment. The ultimatum the House just gave the vice president. Days after the siege at the Capitol, two lawmakers testing positive for COVID-19, who they're blaming for that exposure and the consequences they're demanding. Police searching for clues after four people are shot overnight. We are live with an update on those victims. Plus, more problems for those trying to secure a COVID vaccine appointment. Miami-Dade's mayor is now issuing an apology. Live. The one and only Local 10 News starts right now. Six o'clock on this Tuesday morning. Hi, South Florida. I'm Eric Yetzi. And I'm JC Birch. Welcome. We're here with you all morning long, and those temperatures are still feeling good. I know Julie's talking about a warm-up, but I'll still take these temperatures any day when you think about how warm it is normally. So thank you for keeping them around. Yep, it's feeling good out there, JC, Eric in South Florida. Now, it's not nearly as cool, but we'll call it mild as temperatures are in the upper 60s right now. Miami, Fort Lauderdale, we have 66 degrees. And Pembroke Pines, 69 for you in Key West. Our winds are starting to make a transition in the forecast. So here's what's going on. The forecast calls for temperatures to reflect our wind flow. So with the cloud cover,